Hey guys, Gypsy Wolf, thank you so much for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here yet again. And if you're new to my channel, I teach all things witchcraft. Spells, potions, oils, herbs, brews, things like that. So if you're interested about learning those things, I would encourage you to join this channel and our little witchy community. We have a lot of fun here. Okay, so this spell was inspired by something that happened to me yesterday. A very dear friend of mine had to put their dog down. And I wanted to do a spell that would help kind of heal her heart help her get over her sorrow and grief a little bit more easily, soften the blow, so to speak. I mean, there's nothing we can do to completely take it away, but we can soften the blow a little bit, right? Okay, so it's very simple. I'm going to show you what you need. You don't need a ton. All right, so the very first thing you're going to want to try to get, if you can, is a picture of this friend after they've already lost their pet within the first 72 hours of it, if possible. That's if they're willing to send you a picture like that, you know. Um, my friend that I'm doing this for, she's a fellow witch. I let her know I wanted to do a healing spell for her. So she had absolutely no problem sending me that info. If you cannot get a picture of them, you can use the first, middle, and last name and date of birth. The more information you have about them, the better, okay? You'll need that. You will need a white candle. Um, you could also use green, which represents the heart chakra, or blue, which is a healing color. I'm just using white. It's very universal for cleansing, purification, and things like that. <clears throat> I made an herbal blend. I already have it ground up and I blessed each of the herbs. Get that off camera to take a little time. And I'm gonna show you each herb I used and go over why. You do not have to use all of these herbs. If you only have one, just use that or follow your own intuition and use what you got and what you want to use. But I used Angelica Root because number one, it does help promote happiness. Secondly, I personally believe that everybody has angels. And I wanted to call in her angels to rally around her to help her feel better and heal. So I added some angelica root. The next one I added is a bit of lavender bud because I wanted to kind of soothe her, calm her down. Hopefully she'll have a better night's sleep tonight because of it. Um, that being said, it's best to do this spell while your friend is sleeping, okay? And let's see, the next one I used, I used some orange blossom for this because orange blossoms represent the sun energy, which is happiness and positivity, creativity, things like that. If you don't have orange blossom, because it's not the easiest to come by, you can use things such as dandelion root or calendula petals. They work just as well. But I want this to smell really nice, so that's why I was drawn to the orange blossoms. The next one that I used, you should all have in your kitchen, I would assume, is some thyme, which I grew in my garden. Thyme is a very healing herb. It also helps promote happiness. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> promotes happiness, but mainly as a healing herb. So I wanted to add a bit of that. And the last one I used is some marjoram leaves. Again, most people have this in their pantry. If not, you can get it in any spice section. A lot of times, marjoram and thyme are sold at the dollar store. So. If you don't have them already, you can get them very cheaply. And uh, marjoram, again, helps promote healing and promotes happiness. So I felt like these were a good blend for what I was trying to achieve. 
Okay, so I took my friend's picture. After grinding all the herbs and blessing each one, getting in a state, I rubbed some of the herbs on your picture and I folded it up because I didn't want to show it for privacy purposes, um, obviously. I have her name, date of birth, and even time of birth on the other side of this page. And then I have a little chant written out, okay, that we are going to use. Once we have done that, we put our candle in the center of that and we sprinkle the herbs around, okay? But I'm going to read this real quick. <clears throat> so that way I'll read it more than once in case I forget to put it in the description. So you might have to pause and rewind once or twice. <clears throat> now you don't have to use my chant. I came up with it on the fly. Just what felt right to me in my heart. So, here's how it goes. Heal her soul, heal her heart. Allow her to remember she and name of pet will never be apart. On the day she is feeling great sorrow, help her know it will be better tomorrow. When she is sad and wants to cry, let her look up at the sky and remember all the joy he brought to her days and allow that feeling to never fade. I'm gonna say it a second time with a few pauses to put their names in them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Heal soul, heal her heart, allow her to remember she and will never be apart. On the day she is feeling great sorrow, help her to know it will be better tomorrow when sad and wants to cry, let her look up at the sky and remember all the joy brought to her days and allow that feeling to never fade. All right, <clears throat> once we have spoken those words of intention, we're gonna take our herbs and sprinkle them around the candle. That we place in the center of this <clears throat> and you do not need a lot so all right so that's what it will look like okay you can use crystals if you're drawn to them I use a piece of rose quartz so the other healing stone and also green event, uh, not adventuring, I'm sorry. A green quartz as well because that represents the heart chakra and green is my friend's favorite color. Um, I'm able to connect with her through that color on a spiritual level. <clears throat> I kind of imagine her energy as a green cord. She imagines mine like a blue one because that's my color. All right, so I'm just gonna pretend to light this up, okay? Because once I turn the camera off, I'm going to get back in the state and finish up the spell. Because this isn't all we do, guys. We have to raise our energy, our vibrations, things like that. And that just means we sit down with our candle, stare into the flame, Maybe stare into the picture of our friend and try to connect with them. <clears throat> and what I like to do is imagine her pain like smoke, like a fog, lifting out of her body while she sleeps until it dissipates. And then a bright, soothing white or like a yellowish white light coming down from the heavens, shining down on her to help heal her. So that's how I like to do it. And you want to sit with this for a few minutes and keep envisioning that. Speak more, more words of intention if you need to. <clears throat> when you are finished, there are a few things you can do with spell remains. You can either A, let's say it was a dog, 
bury the spell remains in a place that they really enjoy being. Like maybe they had a special part of the yard, of your friend's yard, that they really enjoy being in. You can plant it there. I don't have that option. My friend lives across the country. Or maybe they had a dog park they really loved. You can bury it there. Uh, if you don't have those options available, which I do not, you want to bury this somewhere beautiful. So anywhere on your property that might be really pretty next to a really beautiful strong tree or a beautiful plant, uh, you know, or a park nearby, don't just toss it. Plant it somewhere pretty. And yes, the ground in many places of the world right now will be cold and it might be a little difficult, but put in the effort, guys. You're helping a friend. It means a lot. Okay, so that's all there is to this spell to help your friend feel better after losing a pet. It can be tweaked to, um, you know, for other things like losing people and things like that, but I would really recommend you just stick with using this for losing a pet. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, blessed be.